Hello and welcome to well, the, um, in this case, the Truffle Adder. For many years, but by many I mean two, it was the fastest car in the world. <clears throat> and uh, it was one of the most exclusive, at the time it was the most expensive car you could buy in, at a price of one million dollars. That's a lot of change, especially when you, when it was, what, 2014? When it, when, 2013, when it first came out? That was a lot of money back then. May not seem like a lot now, but I am very curious to see if this car still holds up. So, let's rev it up, you know, the usual. Go. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, 0 to 60 time. Not bad acceleration for a five year old car. Woo. It's bloody fast. <laughs> Come on. You got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, alright, alright. Use all those 16 cylinders of fury. It's really shifting now. Come on. Yes, and there we go, run out of road, run out of road. Uh, no, bet I will take that. <laughs> Actually, embarrasses quite a few cars nowadays, so. Uh, but what does this have to do with the title being about water? Well, it brings me to my challenge. My challenge is simple. Break the water speed record. That's easier said than done, I think. Because currently the water speed record is apparently just 61 miles an hour. Just for context, the world's fastest production car goes 277 miles an hour. Or 133 when you compare it to this universe. So really, I don't know why it's such a big challenge or why it's so difficult to get above 60, but, um, yeah, heading down in this place, um, to see what's what. Now, this place, it's called, uh, Speed Week at Extreme Hookups, whatever. I think that's what the sign said. Um, frankly, it doesn't look very speedy over there, I will be honest. Kind of looks, well, mundane. What's so special? This is why they're here. It's a mile of perfectly smooth water, at least one way. And this will be well, the speed, like the essentially our runway. And the boat's objective is simple. Go down here as fast as possible, hit this first gate, and then you have one mile to maintain as high a speed as possible. I mean, four... You hit, you have three quarters of a mile before you hit the rough stuff. This is the rough stuff. As, as you begin to go into a, out in the ocean, the waves get bigger and that slows you down because you get air time. And you don't want air time because you want to be able to go as fast as possible, as smooth as possible. Then once you flip the other gate, you have to turn around and go the other way all over again, which is even rougher than the first way. So I've been precautious on this first run. Um, I made it very heavy, and it's a military vehicle, so it should work just fine. This is a APC. It's got one propeller at the back, designed to, and it goes 70 miles an hour on land, so theoretically that should convince us, uh, can easily get us the 60 plus miles an hour on water, right? I mean, it doesn't seem that difficult. It's just drive it flat out, and you reach your speed, and then you're done. So, I mean, it does have some advantage, it's heavy, so it won't get offended by the waves as much, and it's got a nice smooth hull, which is good. One downside, though, is the wheels are sticking out. That might cause some drag, but I don't think it'll be too much of a concern. We are now in the water, yeah, sorry. Wait for it, wait for it, and time to go. Full throttle is now. Okay. We're increasing speed, N maybe, come on, increasing speed, come on, 
You're, you're not increasing in speed. I think the wheels are causing too much drag. You need to go faster. This is a little embarrassing. This is actually quite embarrassing. We're halfway there. Come on! Please! Oh, uh, now we're going even so like six miles an hour. Not even. This is, this is pathetic. Um, this was a letdown. I don't even think I need to go for a second attempt because this is going about six miles an hour flat out. What an embarrassing disappointment. No matter though, we have a sports car now. Yes. And while the sports car was designed for a movie, and unlike most movies, this one actually worked. It's a, it was designed for a submarine scene where the car jumps off a bridge and goes into the water and turns into a submarine. And well, it actually turns into a submarine, so I'm going to build a IRL version of it. So it seems fitting to uh, use this to try and break the water speed record. It's a sports car, it's going to be very fast, right? Alright, moment of truth. Does it still work after 20 years? Ready? Here we go. Please don't sink. Please don't sink. Okay, we're sinking. Um, 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 button. There's a button, it's supposed to be working. Turn it into a submarine already! Oh, oh! Look at that, we got fins, we got double propellers. This is a underwater submarine car. However, I want to go underwater, I want to be on the surface, because the surface is faster with this vehicle. So, up. Oh. Yes, no, no, stop, stop, back up, get back. Damn it, get up here, get back. Thank you. There we go. Alright, now on the speed run. We are still technically an amphibious car. We're just underwater. We just crossed the speed zone, um, we're at 15 miles an hour. We're still at 15 miles an hour. This is a lot more drag than I thought. Um,. Car, can you move? Have some speed, please. This is embarrassing. You're only 10 miles an hour faster than a bloody armored truck. Do something. That was pathetic. I'm also not using you for a second run because you sucked. Now I've been doing a lot of complaining for obvious reasons. So, if you want to do it right, you got to do it yourself. And that is why I have this trusty Rolls 4x4. Because I love this vehicle. It's very reliable. It's very sturdy. So it should be an ideal vehicle to make amphibious. All I need is a bailout board motor and some improvements to the, um, well, rather boxy shape of it. It's not exactly designed for speed running, after all. It's designed to be reliable and tough and able to store stuff, not to break the water speed record. Which is why I've came to this to this workshop, and, uh, I'm gonna build me an amphibious car, or pickup truck, amphibious pickup truck, yeah. And my genius knows no bounds. First, it's actually working, it's floating anyway, it's got barrels on the side to help with stability, it's got a massive outboard motor on the back, designed for jet boats, pretty much, um, and it's got a Re drag reducing front plow and a machine gun I found out lying around and I thought I want a machine gun on top of my truck so here we go if you want to do it right you gotta do it yourself let's do this okay we're at 20 miles an hour 23 miles an hour 24 25 there we go picking up s speed m m please pick up more speed mm-hmm um, we're having a bit of drag problems. We aren't accelerating as fast as we need to be. That wasn't very good. Uh, also, the brakes are not good. There's no brakes. There's no brakes. I'm using friction to slow down. Uh, but we're drifting into open ocean. Drifting into open ocean's bad. Don't drift into open ocean. Stop. Turn. Turn. I have to go on the gas now, and that brings me closer to the ocean. Oh, waves. Waves are scary. Waves are scary. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. Stop. Stop. I've seen sky now. Oh, I'm more. Uh. Go before I flood. Go before I flood. That'll be bad. That'll be very bad. Okay. Second run, we need to average... What? 90 miles an hour, I think. 
Maybe 80 miles an hour to break the record? Yikes, I don't think we can go 80 miles an hour, funnily enough, on the slower return journey. Oh, especially when it's bouncing in the air. Stop that. Oh, stop that right now. It's very annoying. It's dragging. It's not helping us. I warned about it earlier. And you're doing it anyway, you stupid, stupid pickup truck. There's a reason we don't use you for speed running, because you don't work. Oh, this is embarrassing. Like 26 miles an hour. It's an improvement. But, I, I, I have one last trick up my sleeve, since my idea didn't work. This is my last ditch effort. It's a Nagasaki quad ski. It's basically the internals of a jet ski combined with the internals of a quad bike to make an amphibious vehicle. Uh, it is still technically an amphibious vehicle, it has four wheels and a seat, and it's a car, there you go, it's road legal, and it floats, so it's an amphibious car, that. Now I'm supposed to be able to lift the wheels up, which button is it, um, this one, no, um, is it this one, um, where's button, where's button, there's button, yes, alright, now we're in jet ski mode, we can get going. Forward in the pages of history. Oh, uh, this is significantly faster. Only problem is, I don't know how much faster because the speedo is broken. That is a design flaw in Nagasaki will have to work out. Why would you have a speed running vehicle without a speedo working? But it seemed very fast, and I still can't stop, still can't stop, still can't stop. Turn, turn, get on the throttle and turn, spin us around. Maybe, maybe, there we go, now we can spin, uh, stop, 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 there we go. Now, back on the throttle again, we need to have a good average here, come on! This is, this feels fast, but I don't know how fast, I'm estimating maybe 50, we had some brief life in the speed, and it died again. Just please, please break the record. I want you to break the record so bad, but I don't know how we can. Just come on. We are shifting now, though. We're on the smooth bit. Carry the speed, carry the speed across the line. Please, Kowalski, break the record. I want to break the record so badly. This is my last ditch effort. Come on. And across the line. Oh dear, that was terrifying. Oh, now now the speedo decides to work. Thank you for having run 30 miles an hour. Um, this should be the wheels button, right? No, that's not it. Um, hang on, hang on. Um, testing, testing. There we go. Nope, I hit too much. There we go. And up we go. Just that easy. Ha <laughs> <sighs> ha. Okay, let's see our stop. 67, okay, okay, alright, alright. Oh, okay, come on. Yes! There we go. New world record fastest amphibious vehicle driver. Mwah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.